All right, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Um, we are Team Fashion. And first, I want to introduce your, our team to you. I'm Christina, the team's project manager at the line designer. I'm Sondran, I'm the device designer and project manager. I'm Alexander, I'm the project manager and interaction designer. I'm an image, I'm a UI designer and dev lead. So the problem we are trying to solve is to help users protect their food so they can conceive it and pay for it to start. At Driven, help them to reduce food waste. We also want to help users to try different recipes and teach them about uh, like different food, uh, food saving tips and sync up. And the solution is Freshly. Freshly allows users to track their food by scanning their grocery receipt and give them an estimated freshness range to let them consume before food goes bad. And, the, and we also teach them about the carbon impact and different storage types of food. So who is Freshly for? Although Freshly could help almost anyone, through the surveys and interviews, we found that young adults around ages from 18 to 29 often struggle the most with maintaining sustainable grocery habits. These people may be living on their own for the first time and struggling to learn how to effectively use it and manage the food that they buy. So for an example of people who might use freshly ingredient to potential users here on the right, uh, first AJ, the student, college student, always forgets what food is in his fridge to the point where it goes bad and it ends up having to grow a lot of food to buy it. Um, it could have someone to find a better way to take this corruption to stop wasting his money. And Olivia here is a young professional. She used to eat out a lot, but now that she's been finding more groceries, she wants to learn new recipes that do fresh foods. So where does our project stand? After identifying the strengths and weaknesses of other apps, we took notes of some of the features and aspects of their designs that we did want to have and some that we didn't. And we found out that we didn't have any direct competitors, so Freshly stands out from that regard. And that means that much of our research was about evaluating just one aspect of the other company's designs. So for example, we found that too many features can be really overwhelming. Uh, we, want, we want to make sure to have enough to keep it consistent. We also wanted to ensure that users continued using our app after downloading it, and that included uh, adding aspects of motivation and high engagement. And some competitors required a lot of maintenance just to keep using the app, which feels like a chore to users, so we wanted to try and avoid that. Finally, we wanted to make it very easy for users to initially add food to the app, decreasing the amount of effort required to actually start using it for the first time. So based on our initial survey and interviews about people's shopping, food waste, and coasting habits, we created an identity map to determine our main takeaways. So we found that people can't remember what they have in their fridge, and they generally buy way too much food and then don't end up paying it all. And the main foods that they waste are fruits and vegetables. And typically, uh, users find food saving tips and recipes useful but only if they cater to the food that they have in their fridge. And generally, users are not excited to eat their food since they stick with the same new recipes and don't really explore new recipes. So uh, then based off of these takeaways, we were able to determine the main features that users wanted. So for a low five screens, we created a virtual pantry and grocery tracking page and their users could see the estimated freshness range and also mark whether or not the food, uh, they, they threw away the food or they ate. And then there's also the item details page, which includes the freshness range and also has storage tips. And there they can also mark whether or not they ate the food or they threw away the food. And they can also track uh, the food that they wasted and the money that they wasted or saved on the tracking page and users can track leftovers by uploading an image of their leftovers, and there they can see what they have in So after our low buy testing, we got feedback that proved that some of our features were not really helpful to our users. So first, users found that updating what foods they ate and threw away in the virtual bridge was way too much maintenance. Then users showed that they were not very interested in tracking their leftovers and said, that they wouldn't want to put the effort into taking pictures of their leftovers outside of the app. 
and users also wanted more ideas for how to best utilize the food that they have through recipe ideas based on the food that they had it in their fridge. And all these reasons proved that our idea did not meet the needs of the users, and uh, we needed to determine new features that would be helpful for the food. After deciding we needed to pivot uh, and testing our new feature ideas via a kind of study, we were able to move on to creating our main bit five screens. So our new and improved homepage uh, now shows the list of all scanned grocery items organized by food category. And it also removes a lot of the maintenance aspects of our lo-fi mockups, such as marking foods as eaten or thrown out. And we made sure to add an eat screen section at the top uh, that included foods that were gonna go bad very soon and make sure it was shown prominently at the top. The new item detail page was changed to include both the storage tips for both the fridge and the freezer, depending on where uh, the food would be applicable. And then also a change to the buggy at the bottom from eaten and thrown away to just a delete, removing that maintenance aspect again. And then our two new pages on the app, the Explore and Recipe Suggestions were also added. And the Explore page is where the users can search a specific food item and see that details and for items that they may not have bought yet. They can also view a tip of the day and food donation locations air them on this page. The recipe suggestions page creates AI generated recipes using your groceries um, that are in your fridge based on a meal reference that you select. So you just can choose to generate breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, or dessert recipes, and then also regenerate if they don't like any of the options given. So after testing those myths and LED screens, we found that we were going in the right direction, but our users were still struggling with a few things. Um, it was great that we were getting positive feedback about the information architecture and that users were excited about the features, especially after pivoting our idea. However, we found that there was not enough visual indication of who's at our last recipe to eat and stand. The recipe details page did seem to evoke too much excitement among the users, and there were some concerns with the accessibility of colors. Lastly, we also noticed that first time users seem to be a bit confused about the apps in general for events. Uh, so we wanted to address these issues going forward. So moving on to our my vanilla design, after we noticed that first time users needed a bit more context before jumping into the app, we decided to create an informational onboarding to solve this issue. So when opening freshly the first time, the user would see this initial screen on the left to your with freshness tagline, and then be guided through a tooltip walkthrough showing the main functions of freshly and how the user can benefit from them. So with the high fidelity why freshness work page, we created a color code for each food's freshness range. So red means that users should eat the food within two days. Orange means that users have less than five days to eat the food, and green if that they have more than five days to eat food. Also, the emojis and the color-coded range allow for easy scanning, and all the food items are organized from eat the most soon to eat the least soon. And users can swipe through all the eat soon foods uh, at the top of the My Fresh and Bridge page, or they can click on the see all button there to then go to the eat soon page and just see all their eat soon items. So for the item detail page, we added a carbon impact section to educate users on the impact that their food waste has on the environment. But in some ways, since environmentalism wasn't a huge interest, we didn't draw too much attention to this feature. So if people want to learn more, they can click on the question mark, and then uh, there they can see what on the Skype of high versus a low carbon impact and how they can reduce their footprint for the text that means that they purchase. For the recipe suggestions part of the app, we restyled the meal selection page from the left, making sure that it was reflecting our homepage and other styles with the light colored grid. And of course, including emojis via vine with our other styles. On the recipe ideas page, um, we added the ability to swipe back to previous generations once recipes are generated, uh, just in case users change their mind once they hit generate and it's not a, like a one-way road. To the recipe details page, we added serving size selectors, allowing for larger batches of food if you're cooking for more people than just yourself. 
and also adding specific ingredient amounts, as we found people follow recipes almost exactly and wouldn't touch it if they were just general but, uh, ingredient suggestions. And then adding the ingredients used in each step proved to be very helpful for users. And then at the end of the recipe, Brock here on the right congratulates them on making the meal, confirming that the recipe is complete. So for the learn page, we uh, originally titled it Explored, but we got feedback from users who said that they only saw educational content on the page. So they were a little bit confused about the title. So for these reasons, we changed the title to learn. And also instead of having a donation section, we called the section Help the Environment because we realized that donating did not really apply to, uh, to our main goal. And also in the Help the Environment section, Users can see links to articles that include things like composting tips and also how to have like a low carbon diet. And there they can learn more about how they can be more sustainable. We conducted a final round of validation testing to see if our final design changes were correct. And we were happy to see that our testers had a lot of positive feedback to give. So when asked to rate the overall app, um, People rated it about six out of seven and came up with words like simple and intuitive when describing it. Uh, when rating the onboarding for helpfulness, uh, users, our testers also rated it around six out of seven. And all of our testers got the purpose and reason behind the app after onboarding, which means it was a that's success. Some of the, the features that we noticed during these testing were the Eastern section. Uh, people said that this was very helpful and the most important. So we're glad that we prominently featured it on the home page. And people really also like the filters and filtering features um, with their design and their placement. So you just didn't have to scroll all the way down just to see something in their fridge. You just tap it and you go to the end. And of course, everyone was a fan of Rock for an ASCO. So for our software, we're utilizing Python backend, which allows users to run, uh, which allows us to run Verify API, which helps us to scan receipts and open API, open AI API in order to organize the food items into different categories and get details like storage tips, carbon impacts. Uh, and this backend supports our front end, which is built on, which is built using the activated expo. Uh, and for our storage functionality, we use local storage on the, it, which is found on user's device. So for our home page, we give users to options either to scan a receipt and upload, which just go with scan there. Uh, first user pick an image, whichever they want to pick, they can adjust this this screen size if they're screen size. And then once it's once you hit choose, it scans the receipt using Verify API, get all the food items. And then open API helps us to organize into different categories like fruits, vegetables, and uh, meat or etc. And then also gets details like storage tips, uh, carbon impact, and like how you can store differently, like if you want to. For the seat review page, uh, you can deselect or select any item. If you want to remove, you can just deselect it. And once you get confirmed, it's going to show on your home page or my fresh food birch page. Uh, from here, on top, you see uh, like the filters menu. So you don't have to like go through the whole screen rather than just filter out all of these items. Uh, from there, uh, you also see like the eating section, so what you have to eat quickly, like peaches, uh, the grapes. And on the detail page, you see the fresh food range as well as carbon impact, including different storage tins in order to store in fridge or freezer, how you can store uh, like apples. And then as we as we mentioned, you can see carbon impact uh, as well, and then And now I'm gonna just change the name of uh, <clears throat> Apple to from being a Apple to money fist Apple. Uh, we can use this ability to change the names accordingly because we see sometimes have show the names or the uh, the names which uh, grocery store all of them to have, uh, and then from here, we're gonna go what Merit page is about. We give tip of the day over there. You can search about different food, uh, foods, as well as you can look into different articles, like how you can help the environment by 
learning about composting kits as well as what you can do with your low carbon diet, how you can implement that in your life. Uh, on recipes, you can generate different recipes like breakfast, lunch, dinner, based on what you have in your fridge. And it's pri prioritized what is about to go bad. So it gen generates recipes using all the items you have. Then it generates four different recipes. And if you don't like one of the recipe or you don't like any of the recipes, you can regenerate those recipes. And then we to use AI to regenerate those recipes. And on uh, details of the recipe, we give them serving size so you can change the servings and it will update all these different uh, ingredients you need. And step by step, we tell users what to do and which ingredients to use at what step. And a lot of your recipes read is into. And for our feature development, we want to uh, introduce logging system to give user ability to have access of the, their food data across different devices. We also want to integrate smart shopping lists so you can use this. We can help users to regenerate shopping lists and help them what be to get repurchased. We also want to have notifications so you can uh, we can tell users what food is about to go bad so they can consume it quickly. And lastly to share and save uh, recipes, so users can share those recipes uh, with their family and friends. And it's time for our user story video. Nice, I'm finally back after a long day and I got groceries. Now that I'm home though, I should upload my receipt to my freshly fridge before I forget. Let's see here. I'm going to scan my receipt. Got it. This looks good. Let's confirm. And great. Looks like all my groceries are here and organized. Hmm. I remember that my bacon went bad last time. I wonder if there's a better way I can store it. Where's my bacon? Here we go. Let's see. For the fridge. Oh, that makes sense. I'll try that. Wait a second. High carbon impact? Maybe I shouldn't be buying bacon as much anyways. Well, I'm all done putting my groceries away, and I feel good that my food is now stored properly. Hmm. I'm kind of hungry for a snack, but I forget what I have, though. I'll check my freshly fridge. Oh, peaches need to be eaten soon. I can go for a peach right now. This was a great snack. I'm so glad I was reminded to eat this peach before it went bad. Oh gosh, it's getting late, but I'm not sure what meal I could make with the food I have. I'll check freshly. Okay, I definitely want dinner. Generate. Oh wow, there are so many options I didn't realize my food could make all of this. The shrimp and broccoli has the shortest time though, so I'll go with that. I'm so excited that it was so easy to find a new recipe with my food that needed to be used. Because of Freshly, it was easy for Olivia to keep food fresh, prevent waste, and save time finding food to eat. That's Freshly! where your journey to less food waste and a clean fridge begins. All right, so that's freshly. Thank you for that.